Hello, my name is Angela Krulish Milky with Crew Cut Fitness. I partnered with Siouxland District Health Department and their MYW campaign to create four different workout videos that are geared to the pre and postnatal communities. Today's video is going to focus on strength training. Now remember, the goal is to reach at least 150 minutes per week of aerobic activities such as biking, walking, swimming, etc. Plus, at least two times a week doing muscle strengthening based activities. So today, you're with me, we are doing strength training so you can check one of those days off. All right, now what you can do is you can go to health.gov forward slash move your way and use the activity tracker to help you reach your weekly goals. It's a great tool. Let's get started. So today we're going to be working our chest, back, core, and legs. Okay. The kind of equipment you need are a yoga mat, a hand towel. So I just have a regular towel, a chair, and for those of you ladies who are in, we're going to start marching together. For you ladies who are in your second or third trimester, the pillows are for you, okay? Because in the second or third trimester, it is dangerous to lie flat on your back. So we have an exercise we'll be doing today that the gals who are in their first trimester in postnatal, so they already given birth to their babies, you, those scales, you can lay on your back, okay? But the second or third trimester, ladies, you're gonna be using pillows just like me. I have four pillows that I'll be setting up. If you wanna use three, that's fine. If you wanna use five or six, whatever floats your boat, okay? Four just seems to be the magical number for me for a number of pillows to use. Okay. Let's get those knees up higher. I'm going to turn to the side. So this room that I'm working out of is actually my home gym. This is where crew cut fitness happens. Both here, I train clients in this gym and I also make house calls. So I come to clients homes and bring equipment with me. So it's super convenient for them. Okay, we're gonna hug ourselves. This is warming up our chest and our back and our shoulders. And getting a nice stretch through the chest as we bring those arms out. Doesn't that feel good? Okay, we're gonna move into some sumo squat. So a sumo squat, we have wide feet, okay? Also too, notice my feet. My feet are at a 45 degree angle. All right, we're gonna put our hands in front of us. We're gonna squat down and up. Again, down and up. We sink those hips down to the floor and then strong legs and glutes bringing us back on upright. Do you know what your glute muscles are? I'll tell you, they're in our backside, our sitting muscles. Okay, let's do two more squats and then we're gonna move into our strength training. So today's strength training, so for you ladies who are in your first trimester and postnatal. You may be perfectly comfortable and fine to do your push-ups on the floor, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate the floor push-ups briefly with a couple of repetitions. And then I'm gonna demonstrate on the wall as another option. So on the floor, okay, you have two options. You can do them on your feet, okay? We're gonna come down and up and down and up. Otherwise, on your knees, right here, okay? Otherwise, if you do it on the wall, let me move my chair out of the way here, okay? You're just gonna find the nearest wall. Now remember, 
The farther back you set up your feet, the more challenging you'll make it. The closer you have your feet, the easier it will be. Make it challenging enough for you. Okay? So it's gonna look like that. All right, I want everybody to get their, into their positions, whether it be on the floor or against the wall. Okay, we're going to 16. I'm gonna start out on my feet. We'll see, I might move to the knees after a bit. Ready? Let's go. We're going 16. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep it going. We're at 12. We have four more to go. One more. Oh, good job. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab our hand towel. Now, what are we going to do with our hand towel, you might ask? We're actually going to work our lats. Lat, the lats, latissimus dorsi, run right along the side of our back. Okay? So, we're going to hold on to the very ends of our towel here. Okay. All right, so grab your towel, hold on to it both hands. Okay, now you want to think about pulling this apart, okay? Putting a lot of pressure on it. Okay, and then what we're going to do, let me show you the first two reps. We're going to pull it down behind our head and push it back up, okay? All right, let me show you one more time. We bring it down and push it back up. Okay, you're going to join me. Are you ready? Let's do it. Down and up and down and up. Are you feeling it on the side of your back? Sides, plural, of your back? We have more than one side. You can do it lying flat on your back, okay? But 
I'm going to show this with pillows. So let me show you how I set up my pillows for those of you who are also going to be doing it. So for sure, you second and third trimester gals, you're doing this with me, okay? So what I do is I stack two pillows, one on top of the other, just like so. And then I'm gonna take my third pillow and I'm gonna lean it again, against like that. And my fourth pillow, I'm going to set it on top like that, okay? All right, so we got that set up. I'll show you the first couple of reps, repetitions. Okay, so you have this nice, comfy thing going on that you whoop, lose my clothes. Okay, all right, so see how, so you have this nice incline here, okay? All right, the feet are gonna be about hip width apart. Now, what we're gonna do, we lift up the hips, hold it for a couple of seconds, and lower. Then we do it again, and lower. All right, get yourself set up. You're gonna join me in three, two, one. Here we go, bring it up, and slowly lower. Again, up, and slowly lower.
holding on to the ends of our towel here. Bring it up overhead. Are you ready? Think about those elbows coming down to the side of your body. Ready? Here we go. Bring it down. Hang the head and up. Down. Up. Down. Up. One more. All right, put your towel to the side. Okay, what's next? We have isolated core movement going on. Either rotation, right? We got rotation, bracing our core, or side. Side. I think I'm going to do rotation this time. For those of you doing rotation, I'm going to join you on that one, okay? All right, hands on the tummies. Flex it. Whew. Flex it, okay? All right, ready? Here we go. All the work is being generated from your core. Think about the air being vacuumed out of your tummy. Okay, we're gonna do 
box or chair squats. Okay. Just my pants. All right. All right, ladies, let's do this. Are you ready? Bring it down, sit back, and come on up. Again. Super, super functional movement. The more we strengthen our legs, the easier it is to get up from sitting. Which, as we all know, when we're pregnant, becomes more of a challenge. And when you're postnatal and you're holding your little baby, again, you wanna have strong legs. I don't want you to fall holding that baby, okay? I want you to be strong. I want you to feel strong. It's very empowering. Okay, three more. Last one. Nice work, everybody. We're gonna hug ourselves. Oh man, that was a good workout. Really good workout. Okay, let's get a really awesome stretch through our obliques, okay? So we're gonna take our arms straight up overhead. We're gonna bend off to one side and just hold it here. No pulsing, I don't wanna see this, okay? Just hold it, hold it there. Arms up overhead, let's bend off to the other side. Did you know, fun fact, <clears throat> interesting fact actually, that on average, uh, a pregnant woman has 45% more blood in her body. Yes, that's average. But it can range from 20 to 100% more. It's a lot. Yes, it is. All right. Let's march our legs. Get some nice full range of motion in our hips and in our knees. So anyways, having all that extra blood in your body, it's really good. It's one of the many reasons why it's important to exercise while you are pregnant because it's going to get fresh oxygen flowing in through the blood. Okay, so it's good for you and it's good for your baby. Okay, when we're postnatal, after we've had our child, it's important to continue exercising, okay? It helps us get back in shape. It helps us feel good. It gives us a break. Yes, we have our babies and they're sweet and we just wanna cuddle them all the time, but it's important to take breaks for yourself. Okay, we're gonna take our hips in a big circle. This feels so good. Also too, if you're postnatal and you are struggling with postpartum depression, or if you're currently pregnant and you've, you're concerned about postpartum depression, exercising can help, okay? It can help alleviate some of the symptoms associated with postpartum depression. So it's very important to take care of yourself. You need to do that. For those around you and most importantly, for yourself. It's not selfish. Take that time for yourself, even if it's 20 minutes a day. All right? All right, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Make sure you drink plenty of water, plenty of rest, and lots of healthy food. Take care.